If you want to play Mewtwo V-Star, but you want to stand out from the crowd, you don't want to play the Soul Rock Lunatone variants that are floating, then you might want to check out this one with Fusion Pokemon. It's very exciting, very interesting. Let's talk about Mewtwo V-Star first, though. It's a 280 HP Psychic type V-Star Pokemon. It's got two attacks, one of them being a V-Star power, of course. The first attack, Psy Purge, is the main damage dealing attack that we are going to be utilizing for a Psychic and a Colorless. We deal 90 damage to times the amount of psychic energy that we discard from all of our Pokemon in play up to three. So we can deal 270 damage as a maximum cap with this attack. That's pretty good out on a choice belt and you are hitting for 300 damage. Nothing to sneeze that at all. The second attack is Star Raid. It's a V-Star power, which means you can only use it once, but that's okay. You only really need to use it once. Uh, again, a psychic and a colorless. We deal 120 damage to all of your opponent's Pokemon V in play. That includes the active and all Pokemon V on the bench. We're going to be dealing 120 damage to them, which will put them all within range of being knocked out by a Psy Purge, which is very, very nice. It's worth mentioning that the attack does not deal damage with weakness or resistance. We completely ignore that. So a 220 HP Urshifu V will not be knocked out by a Star Raid. Instead, it will take 120 as per usual. Now, obviously, the Lunatone and Soul Rock variant of this deck powers up its bench through that particular engine. It gets a whole bunch of energy on the field through there, and then you discard them with Mewtwo. Instead, we have elected to go with a slightly more consistent but less attacking variant. We've got Latias and Latios from the Fusion Strike set. Both of these cards have an ability red or blue assist, depending on which Pokemon we are looking at. Latios has blue, Latias has red, and it essentially states that you can attach an energy from your hand to the opposite type of Pokemon for free. So Latios, we attach a Psychic Energy from our hand to one of our Latios. Latias and vice versa, etc, etc. You can see how you can start to power up your bench using those energies. They come from hand, which is good. Uh, you can always find energy in your hand, whether or not you've got any in your discard pile. doesn't matter. You can just get them on there, and that's super, super nice. But the thing that I really like about this is that we can also play Genesect for the Fusion Strike System ability. This means that in the early game, when you're trying to find Mewtwo's or energy or whatever it is that you're trying to get, then you can can draw extra cards for every Fusion Strike Pokemon that you have in play. And I'll throw it out there, normally your board is going to be a Latias, a Latios, two Genesect and two Mewtwo, which means that you will be more than capable of drawing up to four cards to help you out and get those cards into your hand. Very, very useful. Uh, not a great attacker. A bench sitter worth two prizes is never great, but it's definitely worthwhile um, until your opponent uses Path of the Peak, and then you're in trouble, but that's okay. It, 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 it's worth it. We've also got Galarian Articuno in the list as well. We've got the Cruel Charge ability, which means we can power two energies from our hand to our bench when we play this Galarian Articuno down, which is very, very nice. And then the Psy Laser attack is relatively useful, although, to be fair, we can only use this to deal 120 damage to a Pokemon, it would need to take a knockout for it to be useful, but you never know, it might come up. Ultimately though, the list is pretty self-explanatory from here. Um, one card that we are playing a lot of is Energy Switch in order to get energies onto our Mewtwo's as quickly as possible. And we also play Energy Retrieval, which is a card that other variants of this deck don't need to play because they can accelerate from the discard. We have to do it from our hand, so Energy Retrieval definitely required to get two basic energies from our discard back into our hand. Beyond that, the list is really quite strong. I've had a lot of fun playing with it. Uh, definitely not not quite as powerful as it could have been, I think, in, in hindsight, but you asked for it, we reached that light goal, 300 was obviously a little bit low. This time, I would like to see 400 likes on this video, and if we can do 400 likes, then I will show you another way to play Mewtwo. I think it's possible. Another way. We'll see. Worst case scenario, I've got a Blastoise deck that you'll love, so 400 likes and get to Blastoise at least. Time to get started, our opponent has played an Arceus down which I can definitely live with, and a single attachment and a pass is not great. Now we have Mewtwo off the top deck plus an energy. We also have the ever popular VIP Battle Pass, which will get us all the things we need. We need a Latias there, and also a Genesect. That's great news. Air Balloon to the active. Um, we can just research here. I think that's fine. 
making the research is perfectly acceptable. We're losing Mewtwo, but we've got plenty, and we've found another VIP Battle Pass, so we cannot complain here at all. Uh, we'll do just play the Genesect from our hand, and then use VIP Battle Pass to find ourselves another Mewtwo, and it's that simple, ladies and gentlemen. You just get your board set up nice and quickly. Um, we will hold the Fog Crystal in hand, we'll just retreat into the Mewtwo V here, and uh, we'll be ready and raring to go. Whatever our opponent does next turn, if they evolve into the Arceus, which it looks like they're going to do, we should at least have enough draw power to find ourselves an attacker. But look at that board. We've got, so we've got draw power, we've got attackers, we've got acceleration, it's got everything that you could possibly want. It's a shame that our Latias and Latios don't have an attack like our Lunatones do in the other variant because there could definitely be a way to uh, to go about this particular deck that is a little bit different, maybe with a different attacker, I don't know. I feel like maybe Mew's just better. If we played Mew VMAX, it's a bit of a niche card, you guys might not have heard of it. Mew VMAX seems like a good card. Uh, and we're being Marnied, so my hand is not going to be any good. Um, but hey, that's the whole, the whole point of the Genesect is to get out of these bad Marnies. Now we just need to hope that we avoid, like, the path. No path? We are living the dream. In fact, we've got a really good hand if there's no path, because we'll be able to Ultra Ball plus accelerate a couple of energies. We might even be able to draw until we get into a Choice Belt for the knockout on this Arceus. So if that path doesn't come into play, then we've actually got a really, really strong turn here have to wait and see what our opponent decides to do. I forgot to mention, by the way, if you haven't already, please consider liking the video, subscribing, doing that kind of stuff. As I mentioned, um, 400 likes. I might be able to get another Mewtwo video. We'll definitely be able to give you a Blastoise one. I've got that lined up. I just need to get some games with it. It's a little bit disappointing. But also, if you want to play this deck, it's down in the description. You can just copy it into PTCGO and go from there. Um, it looks like our opponent has done pretty much everything that they could to screw us up, apart from the path, which means now we are in a really good spot here. As long as we can find ourselves a choice belt. Is it in the deck? It is. There's one. So one choice belt in the deck means that we may very well be able to get a attack off for a knockout here. Um, we'll red assist to accelerate the uh, the purple. What's it called? I almost called it a lightning energy for a second there. The psychic energy from our hand. We can also then attach to the Mewtwo using the fog crystal to search it out. And then fusion strike system, four cards here. No choice belt, but that's okay. We've got an air balloon. Um, I don't actually know where I want to put that air balloon. I do want to evolve that Mewtwo. Um, I like the idea of having the training court available to me, just in, ca uh, just in case the path does come down. Um, but we might just fusion strike system for two here. Doesn't really matter if we whiff the cards, we don't manage to find it, that's okay. Um, to be brutally honest, I kind of feel like bossing up this flying Pikachu has now become a good option. I think we need to discard all of our energy, but you know what? I think it's fine. I think it's fine. We'll side purge. Discard all three of our energy, take the knockout. At least now uh, we have a couple of prizes to work with and hopefully we can find an energy switch uh, at some point to try and get those energies onto our second Mewtwo. Uh, of course we do have the Stadium in hand, so if they do play a path then we are not too worried. Um, but they of course will take a knockout this turn with Arceus V-Star, so I'm not unhappy with this. Uh, there is a world where I star raid there, but it looks like our opponent doesn't have a huge amount to do. Just Trinity, Trinity Nova Ring. So now we are in a very interesting position. It comes down to the cards that we can draw off of our Genesects, right? We've got Genesects to draw cards, so we may as well use them. Um, Professor's Research is also a good card, so I don't mind top decking that. We will quick ball away the Articuno and grab ourselves. I think we just have to get another Mewtwo. We are missing the last V-Star. Uh, we may have discarded it earlier, I'm not entirely sure. We've got plenty of energy switch in the deck, so I'm not, uh, I'm not necessarily worried about this turn, but there's there's certainly uh, certainly a lot that could go wrong. Let's Ultra Ball here and get rid of these two cards. We don't want them. Uh, we'll just grab the Genesect and then, like, research, I suppose. Uh, research. Hopefully we can find a couple of energy and an energy switch, and wouldn't you know it, we have found exactly that. We can Red Assist, we can Blue Assist, we can Attach, and we can also Energy Switch, which is brilliant news for us. So we will be able to get an attack off. 
At the moment, though, no knockout. So we aren't taking a KO. Um, we might draw into it off of a fusion strike system. Nope, okay, sure, fair, 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 that's fine. Uh, completely dead hand, which means now we won't get the knockout, but I think it's okay here for us to attack with Star Raid now. Uh, I am concerned about that Crobat V on the bench, though. If that Crobat V uh, evolves into a VMAX and then comes into the active and attacks, then we are in a little bit of a bind. If they do that, we'll need to, like, Clara into a Mewtwo V Star, Evolve, attach, find energy, energy switch again. Um, we'll need to find a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, or just gust out the Genesect. That's fine. Wasn't what I was expecting. Well, now we're looking for boss, right? If we can boss out this Crobat V, then we are living the dream. We, we do need to find it. So it's not going to be as simple as, uh, oh my goodness, he doesn't take the knockout on the Genesect. All right, now what do I do? Oh my god, there's a choice spot off the top. Of course it is. Of course we knocked oh, Jeez. We needed to draw one more card. Of course we needed to draw one more card. Let's attach... Uh, we will attach the choice belt to the Mewtwo V. Then I'm going to fusion strike system. We've lost two air balloons, but we might be able to find... Like, energy switch or something. Oh, God, what are we doing here? What's going to happen? What are we going to do? Draw a card? Do we have a way out? Oh, no. Clara might not do it. It's not going to do anything. We'll just get the Mewtwo. We'll get the Mewtwo here. We'll get the Articuno. You never know. Grab a couple of Psychic Energies. Um, and our Genesect is just going to have to... Just do us a favor and be knocked out here. Um, we, we will evolve. Uh, so we've got that going for us. I'm going to hold this hand. You, you never know. You never know what we could do. We might theoretically be able to, like, Articuno knock out the Crobat if they decide to take a KO on the Genesect. Um, we might need to, like... We might need... What are we going to do here? Well, our opponent's kind of bricking, so it's fine. Okay, top deck a quick ball. Can we do anything with this hand? Can we do anything at all? Um, we've got an energy switch left. We've got a regular switch left. Do I, do I like, throw these energies down and try and find it? I think I have to at least do that. We might... Oh, my gosh. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? We'll attach to the active, and then we can Genesect for one. A card that can discard would be great. Energy is fine. We can at least play that. I'll, I'll blue assist it to the Latias, and then we'll Fusion Strike System again. Okay, Ultra Ball's okay. It's not great. But I didn't think this would happen. I didn't think we'd be... Oh, there's the Path of the Peak. No, we can't draw any more cards. Oh, if that Choice Belt had just been in the right spot at the right time, we would have taken two prizes. It would have been really easy. We were one card away. All right, how do we how do we do this now? We can't draw cards. If we get a training court, that would be incredible. If we get a training court, then we can not only get the energy to get us out of the active, but we can also draw some cards too, which I'm a big fan of. We've got all this energy in play. We can't do anything. <laughs> I just passed again. Oh my god. Oh, we've gotten Clara. We have an energy left. We have one. We have one. Okay, here we go. Clara. Clara can get us. Oh, I didn't mean to pick a Pokemon. We'll just. Get the Mewtwo's, whatever, doesn't matter. Um, we'll get an energy. <laughs> oh my goodness. We're going to attach to the Genesect and manually retreat it. We're going to go into our Mewtwo here. And uh, then we will Psy Purge. How much damage do we need to deal? I think we do, I think we can just get rid of two here. I think two's fine. 160? Yeah, two's fine. Uh, so we'll take this knockout. We are one K hole away from winning this game. But I tell you what. It has been, it's been a little bit of hard work. I am not going to lie to you. It's been a bit of hard work. There's a training court. There's a boss. Oh, goodness. Okay, so if our hand stays the same, then we are guaranteed to win. Our opponent just drew out of their dead hand. We are probably going to get marnied now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Um, so, worst case scenario for us is, like, Marnie into Crobat VMAX knockout. Um, that would be really, really bad. Marnie is like a completely dead hand, Crobat VMAX knockout, and, uh, we probably lose from there. They're gonna boss? They're gonna boss. They bossed out the Genesect with the air balloon on it. That's the wrong Genesect, mate. That was the wrong one, I can 
retreat now. We've been saved. We've been saved by sheer luck. Sheer luck. Let's gust out the Arceus and just take the knockout. Let's get out of here. Let's just get out of here as quickly as we possibly can. Oh, well. Jeez. Okay, well. I don't know whether that was the deck winning or whether it was just pure, uh, purely accident. I think it might have just been purely accidental, that one. Game two, and we have paired up against the fabled Lunatone Solrock deck. Now the question is, is it Solrock Lunatone itself? Or is it Solrock Lunatone with Mewtwo as an attacker? Uh, if it is the Mewtwo variant, then we will find out, won't we, who the best Mewtwo deck is. If it's just the Solrock Lunatone deck, then we could be here for a while. I've already played in this session of recording a game against Solrock and Lunatone, and it took 20 minutes for me to win. So, uh, I mean, you can see the amount of time that's left in this recording. I cannot. I'm hopeful that it's about 10 minutes, plus like a little outro. If it's more than that, then this game is going to go for a long time. There is also a chance that we might just not be playing because... Or this might never come up because it might be too short or too long or we might not win or we might not show off the deck it's like a whole bunch of criteria that could come up that could cause me to not put this video in um, usually I don't care about winning though that's something that I actually try I like I I know it seems like all I win all the time which is not true it's not true at all in fact if you pair me on the ladder I would be might be more than expecting to lose um, but I, I try and get the decks to work, and usually when a deck in Pokemon works, it wins. Does that make sense? It's like if it does its thing, like if it does the stuff that it's supposed to do, then I'll put it in the video, but usually when it does the stuff it's supposed to do, it wins, so... I'll look at ESO. They've got a Soul Rock. Our opponent has currently... I'm just... I'm just prattling on here. They've currently got three cards in play. I just took a look at their time. Uh, they've been playing for two minutes more than I have. Now, to be fair, all I needed to do was put a Mew in there, a Mewtwo in the active. But it's uh, slow going over here, and that's okay. There's lots of interactions that need to happen. We're going to draw a card or two with concealed cards on that Greninja. And uh, into a VIP Battle Pass. You cannot complain about that. That's an incredibly good card to draw into this turn. So we will sit back and wait and see what our opponent elects to grab. Will it be Soul Rock, Soul Rock? No, it's Soul Rock Lintone. Okay, well, I can live with that. I can live with that. Now we're going to get some acceleration. Obviously, they won't be able to attack because it is the first turn of the game. Um, I have a VIP Battle Pass of my own, so I need to start thinking, what am I going to get? And to be honest, I think I'm just going to fill up my bench here. We've got VIP Battle Pass... VIP Battle Pass plus Ultra Ball, which means that we can get three Pokemon. I'm thinking Latias, Latios, Genesect, or something similar to that. Um, and then we can research, so I'm, I'm feeling actually pretty good. Let's get Latias, Latios with the VIP Battle Pass, and then we can Ultra Ball. We will get rid of the research and the energy. Grab ourselves a Genesect. I like that quite a bunch. Then we can play that down. We can then play the Training Court, and we can research. Big fan. I'm a big fan of this. Uh, we've got an Articuno, which is not great for us. I do like the Training Court to get the energy back, though. Means that we can Quick Ball one away if we want to. We might get rid of the Clara, though, to grab that second Genesect. Uh, and now we are in a spot where we can, like, attach. We can Ultra Ball, get rid of the energy switch and the energy, grab ourselves another Mewtwo, and then we can Genesect for two cards. And see what we find. Just thin that hand out and get some more stuff. Uh, Fog Crystal's pretty cool. I like that. We'll grab the energy here. Super neat. And then we can... I think we just hold it for next turn, to be honest. Because all we need to do is to be able to attack. And this Lunatone will not be taking a KO this turn unless something drastic happens. Um, in saying that, though, watch this Lunatone go absolutely bonkers and uh, take the knockout. But you can see, we've, we've set up this deck quite frequently with the exact board state that we want. We've got two attackers, Latias, Latios, double Genesect, really, really good, happy with that board state. Um, obviously not great against decks like Palkia, because you've got to lower your board, so it's not great, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But yeah, also, I'm a big fan of the, uh, the full art, the promo Mewtwo V. I've got the alt art. Which is like the like it's like the movie Mewtwo or like the the Pokemon Go Mewtwo itself. 
uh, which I don't I don't dislike, but I'm actually a big fan of the full art Mewtwo in this instance. It's really uh, it's really something else. I just love the color, the purple. It's really nice. Big fan of that. Not a big fan of this hand, although I am a big fan of the fact that we'll be able to draw cards. So that's fine. That is, of course, assuming that uh, we are able to have another turn, because there, there's, there's honing in on that 20 minute mark, having played five minutes already. Um, yeah. I don't know what, uh, what to talk about now, because there's just a lot of thinking going on, and that's okay. Like, I don't want to begrudge people the chance to think about their turns. Because not everyone has played the game as much as I have. They don't always know exactly what the things are that they're going to do every time. Um, so it's perfectly fine. We've got Pokestop here. They're going to use Pokestop. They are going to use Pokestop. Going to get a choice belt and a gear. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's like they're going to gear for the for the support. And now they're going to wait a turn. They definitely have at least one more sun power that they can use. Just whether they elect to use it or not. Whether they elect to use it or not. There it is. Okay, they've used it. They've put it on their second Lunar Tone. I, I gonna respect that. I'm gonna respect that. They have enough. They. Oh my god, I didn't even realize. I thought they just had one more to go. Oh boy, so they've been sitting there going, should I use this ability to power up my Lunatone this turn? Or should I just sit there and wait? Alright, we got there. We got there. It is our turn. We're going to speed run this. We're going to go as fast as we can. Here we go. Uh, we're going to quick ball. We're going to get rid of the VIP Battle Pass. We don't want that. We're going to get a Articuno. I think that's fine. Uh, then we are going to quick ball. We're going to get rid of the Articuno. We don't need that. Let's grab nothing, and then we can research. Uh, see what we get off of this... Energy's good. Ultra Ball is good. This is these are the cards that we need. Uh, not not a great turn lined up for us, but hey, it's it's gonna it's gonna work. Are we gonna get rid of the Mewtwo and the Scoop Up Net? We might need the boss. Although to be fair, I just realised that I just put the third Mewtwo in the bin, but that's fine. We're gonna attach, and then we are going to switch and Scoop Up Net. Draw a few more cards this way, because now we need to find a uh, Clara as well. Let's play down that Latias. And then Fusion Strike System for three. We've got Energy Retrieval. We've got a Mewtwo V-Star. That's pretty good. There's one Energy in the discard pile at the moment. We might wait until next turn to use that card. But we will play down the Choice Belt. And then Fusion Strike System again. And there's the Clara. Okay, well, we've at least found the Mewtwo back again. Um, I don't know that we need to do anything else here other than just Psy Purge. So we will discard one Energy. 90 HP on the Lunatone. Take the Knockout. We will lose this Mewtwo next turn, but we really only need to discard one. So we will do that because the last thing we want is for our opponent to completely whiff a turn. And then we find ourselves with an attacker in the active that cannot do anything. So uh, that is not what we want to do. Not what we want to do here at all. And now, we sit back and we relax. We are about to get Marnied, so there goes that Clara for the uh, for the second Mewtwo, but that's fine. Um, this Lunatone is going to have five energy on it as well, by the way, because there are three Solrock on the, on the bench. So that's no good. The question becomes, do they... Well, okay, they're going for the Pokestop first. So do they play the Marnie now, or do they wait? Do they have other cards to play? They've got Trekking Shoes which they could easily just play right now. Just draw a card, or draw two, discard one, draw one. That would be fine as well. We're gonna do one sun power first before the trekking shoe. That's that's completely fair and reasonable. Okay, they've, they've gone and discarded a poker stuff. They've probably just drawn into an energy, so now they can go, look at this. Look at this, Ice Cream T is putting it together. He's doing the job. That's good. He's good. He's got, he's got two more sun energies to use. And uh, I think, to be to be fair, he probably wants to use those Sun Energies on a new Lunatone. Because uh, it doesn't really matter how much H, uh, how much damage this one's dealing. As long as it attacks, it will take a knockout. So, to be honest, it might be one of those games where you just like Marnie this hand. Because we know he has Marnie in that hand. Maybe you just Marnie this hand to try and find another Lunatone to, to attach to. Maybe that's the case. Because like if you can get three energy on a Lunatone on the bench whilst you've still got one attacking then you can theoretically go absolutely ham here. So Marnie seems reasonable. 
Marnie seems well and truly reasonable. Although I will say, having taken one prize and our opponent has taken zero, our chances of having a short game here have very swiftly evaporated. So we'll wait and see what ends up happening here. Our opponent has taken the knockout. We have an energy. There's a training court. There's an air balloon. There's an ultra ball. We have cards to use, but we need energy switch as well. Raihan will also do the job. Uh, we might just play that, to be honest. Let's play the Raihan. We will also grab the Clara, because we know we need that Mewtwo that we discarded earlier for no reason. Um, we've got the energy as well to attach. We'll put the air balloon in the active and then play down the training court. Uh, we will then fusion strike system, which I like. Uh, energy retrieval now is a very good card. But the question is, is it worth playing right now? We do have two energies in the discard pile, so we may as well just grab them. We get money, at least they're in the deck, I suppose. Um, let's red bat let's red assist and, and blue assist here. Uh, just means that there's, you know, just a little bit more flexibility on the board. Plus, we can also fusion strike system. So I like this. Double energy is fine. Psy Purge, take the knockout. One discard's fine. We are not going to get knocked out next turn. If they put together a Lunatone capable of knocking out a Mewtwo V-Star in one hit, then I will be very impressed. I'm not expecting them to do it. Uh, which means that we have a chance to Clara into the Mewtwo V, put it onto the bench, attach, and then maybe next turn we attack with it. So I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling like we might be in with a shot. Uh, although, to be fair, both of us are pretty low on cards at the moment. This is one of the good things about the Genesec deck is that it, it can go through its cards very, very quickly. Um, something that uh, other decks can't necessarily do. Of course, it's not as fast as Mew, but Mew VMAX also is a lot more uh, offensive and defensive, frankly. There's two meanings to that word, and it fits them both. So now, our opponent, what do they need to do? They need to find a Lunatone. That may mean that they need to find something like a, uh, a an Ordinary Rod. Maybe they need to find a copy of uh, Rescue Carrier. They'll also need to find uh, an Energy, which they can do with Training Cords, so we've given them that. Um, but then they've, they've got four Soul Rock in play, which means that if they do have a Lunatone attached to the Soul Rock in Retreat, then Accelerate 4 and deal 150 damage, put the Mewtwo V-Star under pressure, seems like a pretty good option. Um, doesn't look like they have it in hand, though. We are seeing a big research here. That hand had three VIP battle passes in it. That is the reason that that, that hand was not great. So, uh, more than happy to see that. Here come some Lunatones. Our opponent now has five cards left in deck. So, potentially an alternate wind condition opening up for us here. They have the Lunatone. They've got the Soul Rock, the energy on the active. They can retreat. And they will Sun Power times 4 onto this Lunatone. And then Moon Kinesis for 150 damage. Uh, will not be able to take a knockout, but definitely puts a lot of pressure on. And it means that we have to find our next V uh, V Mewtwo this turn. Luckily, we've Raihan for the Clara, so we know we're going to get it. But uh, luckily, we do have that flexibility available to us. So yeah, tell us, uh, by the way, if you're watching this far then you are well and truly one of the 20%. Uh, I've, I've said this before, at this point of the video, most people have clicked off. Only the true believers are here. So if you are still watching, then please tell me which Mewtwo variant do you think is best? Do you think it's best to play it with Shadow Rider, which will probably be coming up tomorrow, to be brutally honest? Or do you think it's better to play it with Sorok Lunatone or this one? Which one do you think is better? Uh, me personally, I'm not entirely sold on any of them right now, um, but I have played a lot of the single prize kind of variants, so it's not quite... Uh, I've not played the Shadow Rider one yet, and I think that one might be the most like offensive one, like most attacking. This is a pretty good hand. We will discard a single energy from the active, knock out a Lunatone, and go down to three prizes remaining. Our opponent, we, we know they have a Lunatone in their hand, so they will guaranteed be able to get a knockout on our Mewtwo V-Star. The question is not, can they get a knockout here? The question is, do they have another Lunatone left? Because it feels like they are running out of resources. There's only, what? 10 cards out of the 60 that they started with that they have available to them plus the two prizes so 12 cards in total it's not a lot it's not a lot to work with so we might be able to beat them here on the fact that they don't have enough lunatone um potentially 
potentially is the case, although you, you do have to think that if they have one more rescue carrier, then the game is wrapped up, right? If they can use one rescue carrier, then they just keep doing what they're doing, and there's no way for us to ever come back to win. So, 100% uh, depends on whether they have another rescue carrier or a loose Lunatone that we've not seen yet. We'll wait until that comes up. In the meantime, we have an attack. So we're just going to do it. We're just going to make that attack. Uh, this is where playing like an Articuno would be really cool. Like if we could use the Articuno here, that would be sweet. Um, to be brutally honest, maybe could have set up a board state where that had happened. But uh, you know what, doesn't matter. Um, we have three boss in the deck. That's a completely useless card in this matchup. Um, we'll red assist at least one energy onto the field. And then fusion strike system for two cards. Uh, we just want to make sure that we've got access to the things that we need. So if our opponent does like boss and uh, try and stall us for a turn, we can get out with the air balloon. Which I'm happy with. There's a boss's orders of our own. So we can potentially throw them under the bus as well. Another knockout. One energy, 90 damage. Pretty solid. We need two to win. We need two knockouts to win. I just, I just looked at my OBS. We've been recording this game for 15 minutes. There you go. No more Lunatones by the sounds of it. Victory for Mewtwo V-Star. So there you have it. Mewtwo V-Star. Actually very, very strong. And you can play it in a variety of different ways. So I don't feel like you have to play it with Soul Rock and Lunatone. The Fusion Strike deck is it's definitely an option. I don't know if it's a good option but it happened. Thanks very much to these people over here for being channel members. If you want to support the channel for as little as three bucks a month, it is a link down in the description. You can click the or a little button or something like that. I don't know where it is. It's down there somewhere. You can click that as well as the subscribe button and the like button if you've gotten this far. If you haven't done that yet, then what are you doing? Come on, seriously. If you're watching to the end, then come on, give us, give us a like if you, if you could, please. I, I, I need them. I really need them. And then also, look at that. Jeez. Charizard's a deck, isn't it? That's a... That's a card. 